Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 8. This time we have Android 16 based ROM. And this one is actually an initial build of Android 16. So there are a few issues here and there. But fortunately, there is no major bugs. And the ROM is pretty much usable. So first of all, we will check our Android version and everything as I always do. So if I check here, so as you can see here, Android 16. And this is a OSP build, so there is no feature at all, pretty much stockish ROM. So Android 16, as you can see, and the UI is actually fully Android 16 based, so as you can see here, pretty new. And the notification panel, as you can see, it's pretty nice, and I really like Android 16 notification panel. It looks good, and you can customize actually. And there are a few options, and so many of you ask me to check out the recording so as you can see here we have recording option here so if i record now we can record a single app or whole screen so right now i will do for whole screen and we can record the sound too so record screen and now it is starting so recording is going on so if you record screen then you can do that so it is working and we can stop and we can take a screenshot by swiping three fingers that is working in terms of network connectivity so internet is working fine and i did put my sim card here and i did try phone calls everything is working bolt bo wi-fi hotspot and bluetooth everything is working perfectly fine no issue and application part pretty much similar to android 15 as you can see nothing new here notification pretty much similar sound and vibration working fine i haven't found any issue but there is no part app volume control option. So as you can see here, that is not available. Display, adaptive brightness does work. Dark theme, night mode, and few other things are available. Double tap to work is available, but no double tap to sleep. So as you can see here, it does not work. So that feature is not available here. Wallpaper and style. As you can see, more wallpaper option. So we do get AI wallpaper and emoji workshop. So both of them are viable. And the default wallpapers are also viable. So you can play with them. More log screen setting. And we do get AOD. So if I try now. So as you can see here, AOD is viable. So if you use AOD, AOD is viable. And there are a few other options available here. Storage. As you can see, I have installed few applications here. And almost... 26 GB already used and it used almost 15 GB of internal storage so kind of fine in terms of battery the battery is doing pretty well I haven't faced any kind of drain issue or anything like that there is no overheating or anything like that but still fast charging is not available although we do get charging control as you can see charging mode automatic customer limit charging all those things are available but no fast charging and the battery backup is kind of fine no issue in the system setting we do get few options here as you can see language keyboard misc setting so google play integrity and gesture option is available so if you want three swipe screenshot to take then you have to enable this one and also xiaomi parts option is available so as you can see here you can calibrate the display so that's all what we are getting in the setting panel actually nothing much in the security and privacy option we do get only fingerprint implement and fingerprint works perfectly fine but no face unlock so you will not have any issue regarding fingerprint it works fine it might miss sometime but overall fine actually it works and as under 16 based rom or 15 based rom we do get private space which is a bible and you can use it more security and privacy option we do have few other options here and that's all actually the location service and everything is working perfectly fine no issue and the launcher is pretty much similar we are not getting anything extra here so pretty clean this rom did come with google play service and everything so you no need to flash gfs here but i did install few applications like google gmail and few things just to try out what is working and what is not first of all let's talk about the camera the camera application we are getting is gcam go which is working fine no issue but i did face uh lagginess in the camera ui the camera application does work i did install a gcam as you can see here gcam is also working i can take picture but sometime it does not work that well so there are issues with camera 
maybe in the future build this will be fixed but as for now camera got few issues and other features like we do get Dolby Atmos and in terms of phone call as I said Bo LT and Bo Wi-Fi working and call recording is also working no issue so if I play call recording speaker so you can hear that so call recording is also working in terms of Google Photos we do get unlimited storage for Google Photos as you can see here unlimited but unfortunately still magic editor is not working so if i try magic editor it will crash the application as always like android 15 based rom so if i try now try now got it and if I, so it crashed so it's still not working other things like we do get circuit to search feature so circuit to search feature does work so as you can see here circuit to search is working no issue and WhatsApp is also working. The issue with this ROM right now is that we are not getting any kind of Google Play Protect certification. So you will not be able to use any kind of bank application here. And you might face some issue with other application will not be usable on this device. You guys don't really have certification. So maybe in future will they will fix these issues. But as for now, the ROM is perfectly usable. I haven't faced the UI is pretty smooth for initial build. The ROM is perfectly usable and surprisingly gaming performance is also pretty good i did try call of duty here in default setting it was usable and playable no issue at all so gaming performance you are getting from this rom it's also good so as far as usability goes the rom is perfectly usable you will not face any issue here the major issues are pretty much not here but minor issues are here maybe in the future build they will fix and if you are interested in this rom i will put the rom link in the description below so you can try it out so as for initial build this is actually a perfectly usable rom so that's all about it thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one